Konnichiwa Pokemon fans! How's it going? This is the Pokemaven. Today we've got something a little different. We're not opening any sealed booster packs or any sealed product, but we're going to open these some of these uh, mystery packs or mystery packets. Um, for a while it was very difficult to find sealed product or uh, booster packs, so what stores did um, is they started selling these mystery packs or they've been selling them for a long time I'm not sure but I uh, I passed by one in the town and they were they had vintage back uh, mystery packs which you can see right here it was unbelievable all of these are vintage backs of course they're used but uh, you know some of these some of these are very nice uh, you can see this um, Electabuzz has uh, no uh, no rarity symbol. It came from a uh, from a cattle from one of the uh, card holders. Is Nine Tails vintage Pokemon Gen Gen One Pokemon, right? So yeah, I couldn't believe it. They had all of these, and um, of course, it took all my money that day. I had about uh, sixty thousand yen or about six hundred bucks in my wallet. And I spent all the money I had in my wallet. This is a Blastoise vintage base set. Very nice, very nice. And uh, I I shot some of these in uh, for for a shorts for a YouTube shorts until my camera ran out of memory. So there are 20 packs which I haven't opened yet. Some of these already opened, uh, like these these three rows here. They're opened. I, I know what's in there because, um, like I said, these are these were made into a shorts video. But so if you have a chance, check out check out my bending machine uh, YouTube shorts videos where I open all of these. So some of these I open right in front of the shop. This is a uh, fossil Moltres fossil or fossil series Moltres. Pretty good. But yeah, these were these were really really cheap. I couldn't believe it. I wouldn't say cheap, but they were very very affordable or addicting. But nonetheless, it took all my money that day. Okay, so and there are twenty packs which I haven't opened yet because my like I said, my phone had run out of memory. So let's see what's it's in the other twenty packs. I open about. 41 packs, 19 packs have are still unopened. So let's find out what's in here. And this is uh, the first of hopefully a continuing series of stupid or stupendous. It was a stupid to spend all this money on mystery packs because you know you're kind of taking a gamble. Or oh, some of these I uh, I graded already, gave them my own grade. This is a six, a six, a five. So these are just. Uh, medium played, but not bad, not bad. Is a well, you know, at this point, if you were to buy them directly from a pack, they would run you several hundred bucks, right? Use a Wiggly Tough Jungle Series Vintage. Also give it a five, six. This is a ooh, it's a flying Pikachu. Sora Otobu Pikachu. You can this there's a. There's a ding right there, it's torn right there. It's a three, <laughs> I gave it a three. The Maven's, Maven's CGC grading. The Maven's, the Maven's PSA, here's another one. All right, so, Scyther, four out of, oh, here's a vintage, Polyrath. This is a seven, but this is just 10 bucks. Can you believe it? Three vintage cards for 10 bucks. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So. That's why I took all my money. But no more chit chat. Check out my YouTube shorts if you want to see what I pulled in those in those uh, in those videos. Let's see the remaining 19 cards. What do we have? Oh, there at least at least one. If you get one card, means you got a big hit. If you get three cards, it's considered a normal hit. But here we have a a dark. Vile Plume from the Team Rocket series. All right, you see, are there any swirls? Let's see the back. 
that's pretty decent there's some uh, whiting on the edge but that's all right oh here's a Pikachu's rookie car from the base set oh, you can see some whiting right there there's some dings on the corner but that's all right this card itself it's worth more than 10 bucks I'm not sure whether the, sh the shop was unaware but I'm happy to get some of these cards here's a, a muck fossil right that's also a bit of whiting so these are basically maybe medium plate or near mint depending on the depending on your luck that was pack number one pack number two what's in here well, let's do it the other way we have magneton base set in good shape on oh, this bit of whiting there can't complain 10 bucks come on oh here's a lapras fossil series these are all vintage bags all vintage bags let's see let's take a closer look mm, not bad not bad right not bad the back is also pretty decent Next, oh, we got a, uh, a polygon, no rarity symbol. So this came from the CD promo, which uh, this is part of the CD promo, which includes the three OG Pokemon, the, the big three, and some other Pokemon. I'll uh, do that video maybe some other time. I have that CD promo. Next, pack number three, I believe. Pack number three, or pack number four. I lost track already. Let's see. Oh, we got a Kangaskhan. Jungle series Kangaskhan. There's some scratches on it, but I'm just happy to be opening these, you know, and getting vintage cards. Not bad, this is a bit of whiting, but not bad. Oh, got Erica Trainer. We got a Giovanni's Gyarados. It's a Gym Gym Heroes. I'm not sure if it's one or two, but you can see the little sign there. Let's see. Oh, this this card is in. This card is uh, medium played. Yeah. Well, what can you expect for ten bucks? But like I said, not a bad deal for ten bucks. Not a bad deal. Next pack. So if you get one card, it's kind of considered a big hit. If you get three cards, it's considered a regular, regular pull. Here we go. Oh, we have a Feraligator. Again, no rarity symbol means it came from the Neophile, Neophile one set. And oh, we got a Fushigidane or Bulbasaur. Base set Bulbasaur. Not bad, not bad. This card itself again is probably worth more than 10 bucks. And all right, we got a Nido King. Giovanni's Nido King. Let's do a quick check. Yeah, of course, none of these cards are going to be pristine, but like I said, not bad, not bad, not bad for 10 bucks. Can't beat it with a stick. Next, what do we have? Oh, got three cards. Ooh, look at this. All right, all right, all right. We got a Dragonite. This came from the Game Boy. Love Dragonite, awesome dragon. That's a bit sad he was left out of the, the, the 25th anniversary set. Oh, it's, there's a crease right there though. Yeah. In mint condition, this would probably be about nine, 90 bucks. But like that, oof. Gyarados, another dragon. Is Gyarados a dragon? 
water dragon. Yeah, base set. And a Pidgeotto. Is this Pidgeotto? Or is it, it's the last evolution. You can see a squirrel right there. Jungle. Pidget, right? Not Pidgeotto, maybe Pidget. <coughs> it's a Pidget. Next pack. What's in here? What we got? One card. Ooh, it's a big one. It's a big one. What is it? Whoops. Dropped it like a brick. Vintage Mew. Base set Mew. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. For 10 bucks. Can't beat it. Swirl right there. There's a bit of damage on the edge, upper right edge. The back, the back is actually fairly decent, very clean, very clean. Let's put it back there. We got Mew, our first hit, so to speak. Even though I, I consider all of these hits, because it was a kind of a bargain, I think. What do you think? Would you have bought these like three for ten? Three for ten bucks? We got a ride on gym leader. Again, I can't remember whether it's gym leader one or two, but oh very clean card. Very clean front. The back is also quite clean. Probably near mint. Seven maybe. Then we have Magneton. Tennis Arch, Magneton. Quite clean, quite clean. And the third card is <coughs> Spiro, a Firo, sorry, a Firo. Gym leader. It's been so long, I can't remember whether it's Gym Heroes 1 or 2 or Gym Leader 1 or 2. But vintage back that's moving move on right along next pack oh, again well we got one card it's a hit it's a, oh no we got three cards false alarm we have ooh, Erica's vile plume Pretty nice hollow. Second card is a oh, Neo series. Heracross Neo 1. Again, these are all vintage. All right. Oh, pretty clean. Very clean. Pretty clean card. And a fossil. Fossil Hypno. Do a quick check, quality check. Pretty clean front. Clean back. Next pack. Oh, these go fast because we don't have to use scissors or rip it open or anything. Oops, that flew out. Third card is... A Clefable. Clefable. Jungle. Again, looks pretty decent. Right, probably lightly played. Uh, Aerodactyl, Fossil Series Aerodactyl. There's some whiting on the edge. A little ding right there. But. Ooh, all right. We got a Pikachu. Pika Pika. Whiting on top. But not bad, not bad. Let's put Pikachu right there. 
put it next to Lily. Next pack. Under three cards. So it's not a big hit. But again, these are all big hits in my opinion. We got a dark slow king. You can see a, a grunt in the back. Oh, these cards just bring back a rush of memories. I opened so many of these packs with my with my kids. Wow. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, we got an Arctic Uno. Can you believe it? 3, 4, 10. You got an Arctic Uno, one of the legendary birds. Well, ooh, this one's pretty heavily played, though. Ouch. And the first card was, ooh, another rookie card. Charmander, Tokage. Moving right along. Three cards. The last card was a Wari Duck Trio. Team Rocket Duck Trio. Mm, pretty decent front. Oh, pretty clean, pretty clean. Wow. Yeah, that was a win. That's worth more than 10 bucks at this point, isn't it? Another Vial Plume. Erica's Vial Plume. Also, pretty clean card. The back, wow. That was a win. That's a win. And ooh, all right. Finish it off with the base set Bulbasaur. Also pretty clean. Wow, that, that was a good pack. That was a good pack. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, so that's why I spend like a whole hour there trying to clean the machine, clean out the machine, the bending machine. But yeah. Next, ooh, we got a Hitmonchan base set. With some swirls. Unfortunately, there's a ding right there on top. Mm. And, ooh, we got a trainer. The lieutenant. It's also used. And we got a needle queen jungle series. At this point, any of these packs, on any of these vintage packs will run you about 200, 300, maybe some even $400. Here we're getting three for 10, two or three hollows for 10 bucks. What a deal, what a deal. Fossil, muck. Oh, it's pretty played, but that's all right. Kabutops, fossil Kabutops. Also lightly played, but very clean. And the first card was, ooh, Kuishinbo Kabigon. Again, no rarity mark. So it came, this one came from the CD promo. Pretty cool. Moving right along, next pack. Like there are three cards in here. Again, Erica's Vile Plume. Wow, they must, the shop must have had loads of these because we've got about five of these by now. Pretty good condition. Again, Electabuzz, no rarity mark. 
think I have a few of these somewhere upstairs. Came from a small binder, pocket binder. And Charmander. Also pretty clean. Wow. We'll take it, we'll take it. Next. Oh. Three cards. Dinryu, Neo, Series 1, Ampharos. Again, Neo 1 cards, Neo 1 booster packs will probably run you about $250 to $300 at this point. Oh, quite clean, quite clean, very nice. That's a win, that's a big win. Scyther, Jungle Series, some edging now. This one's pretty used, we've seen that. And another Magneton, Fossil Series. Ding right there. Next pack, we're getting uh, getting down to the last four packs. Now three cards in this one again. Ooh, again, Neo One, Skarmory, kind of a gray and silver black background, like he's flying through the Milky Way. Pretty cool. Ooh, Raichu, all right. Base set Raichu. Wow. Unbelievable. A base set card. Oh, it's ding right there. Nonetheless, we'll take it. And a Dark Gyarados. Ooh, this reminds me of the uh, 25th anniversary. Of course, right? Because there's a 25th anniversary edition of it. But the original Team Rocket... Warui Gyarados, Dark Gyarados. Haven't used them in Pokemon Go for a while now. And we're down to the last three packs. What's in here? What's in here? Polyrath. Base set Polyrath. Looking pretty clean. Oh no, there's a ding right there. Probably a four or five. Dark Magneton, you can see the R Team Rocket sign right there. Quality check. Oh, you can see uh, the shadow of a, of a grunt also. Well, pretty clean, very clean. Yeah, these, these are just so classic. All the memories, wow. Needle Queen. Jungle series, you can tell by the little leaf right there. Looks pretty clean. Oh, there's a scratch in the back. That's all right, that's all right. Down to the last two packs. Giovanni's Persian from Gym Leader or Gym Heroes. See a swirl right there. Oh, it's pretty used. Probably like a five, a four or five. Another Dark Slow King. Mm, looks alright. Can't complain. Hitmon Lee Fossil Series. Wow, these are these are all hollow, all hollow foil, guys. Three for ten, unbelievable. Looks pretty clean too. In the last pack, what's in here? Oh, the single one. It wasn't set up that way, I promise. Not a setup, but one. What is it? All right, all right, all right. Woohoo! Wow. Just the card you want to end this video. A Koro Koro comic shiny Mew. Just like that guy back there. Or the one I pulled in the celebrations video. Oh, this is an awesome card. 
probably run about 250 to 450 depending on the grade. PSA will probably be a thousand something by now. Oh, it's very clean, very clean. Wow, look at this. What a pull. What a way to end this video. Very nice card. What do you think? Shiny Mew. Very nice card, very nice card. Let's do, do a super quick recap. And so let's do a quick recap. I just pulled some of the cards together. There are more, but you know, it'll take forever to show you all these cards because like I said, I bought 60 boxes. But here's a Scyther, a Dark Machamp, Heracross. These are wild, these are really, really wild. Unbelievable, three for 10 bucks. Kaidu, Vintage, Base Set Machamp, Polygon 2, Alakazam, Base Set. We saw that, we saw that. I'm just gonna show you the ones that we didn't see in the video, in this video, because I just quickly threw them, threw them together. Oh, oh good, you can see them in the background too. Here's another Aerodactyl from the Neo 3 series or Neo 2, probably Neo 3, forgot. Six, I gave it a six, already checked it. Moltres, do we see this Moltres? Fossil, it's a very beautiful card. Captures the essence of Moltres, all that fire. Lepras. Ooh, look at that. Last toys, the big OG, one of the three OG Pokemon. Whoops. Are we going a little too fast? But you've already seen all of these, so I just wanted to show you the ones that we didn't see. Mew again. Ooh, beautiful. All right, all right, all right. Another shiny Mew to the collection. What a beautiful card. Gorgeous card. Shiny all over. Right, you Let me pull them closer so you can see. We saw that, but oh, we didn't see this. Meganium, Neo, Ditto. Oh, here it is. Base set Venusaur. Mm. Oh, this is the one I was talking about. This is the CD promo Charizard. Depending on the condition, probably run you about anywhere from 150 to about 2000, depending on PSA grade, of course. I mean, if it's PSA, of course, it'll be much more expensive. Let's see how this one is. I think this one's pretty clean too. Uh, and it's not bad, there's a scratch right there, but what can you expect? 10 bucks, come on, 10 bucks, unbelievable. We got Lugia from the Neo series. Yeah, we didn't see this one. This recap has turned into another video. I just wanted to show you the ones that we missed. I think that was it. Th those were the big ones. Oh, right. There's a, there's a Dark Charizard. We missed that one. Team Rocket. also pretty used but again 10 bucks pretty clean back unbelievable what did you think of my pools was it worth 600 bucks i hope so i hope so just just this card itself i think was probably 300 or 350 pretty nice grade but thank you very much for watching this video as usual, please leave a like and sub. You know, my, my channel is unsullied by any sponsorship. It's just coming out of my own pocket. So show some love and support. Hit that like and sub button. Pika Pika Peace from Tokyo.